65 years on from the Munich air disaster, there's a brand new memorial in honour of the fallen babes, just a short walk from Old Trafford. The Railway Club in Stratford is the home of both a fabulous new mural and the replica of the memorial from the crash site in Trudering. On Friday, fans and two of our most famous former players gathered for the official unveiling. And everyone was blown away by the quality of this new shrine for our global fan base. Oh, fantastic. Oh, yeah. Incredible. It's unbelievable. People travelling over here from all over the world, they would love to come here. It's fantastic. You meet people from everywhere in here. Yeah, and it's something that, uh, you know, that, that the fans love and that's what it's all about. I'm just looking at the old carry this flag, Jimmy Murphy, said I was always a tear in his eye. Yeah. We played at United when Jimmy was the assistant manager, and yeah. by God, oh, he... The character. <laughs> oh. A bit like you, Paddy. No, but no, but he could be a bit fearsome as well, Alex. Yeah, yeah. His language could be a bit... Oh, OK. <laughs> we haven't said no more. No, we <laughs> Only when things weren't going well. You we do get the impression the new manager, he's got a touch of steel as well, hasn't he? Yeah, I, th I think... It's well, the Dutch are famous for that. Yeah, aren't but, they? but the discipline he's shown to the to the team, and they've reacted, and that's the main thing. And the supporters love it because they're seeing what's what's happening. Are you ex-players who just like supporters now? What's it feel like to have the team doing well again? Well, it's absolutely super. Fantastic. Because, yeah, fantastic. We've had a bit of a lean spell, you know, but we I think we've got a manager now that's that's more for the club and the supporters than let's say. A couple of managers that we have been before. Some of them before have been <laughs> more interested in themselves rather than the club. Exactly. But this guy's made big changes. I just want to start by saying thanks to everybody for coming today. Um, I know you've all got busy schedules, so um, I really appreciate you being here. I think I'm a bit overwhelmed how many people are here. We were expecting about two dozen, weren't we? So um, it's very good. We'd like to welcome our guest, which I can, can't see. Oh, yeah. Alex Stepney there. I can see Alex. Thanks, Alex Stepney. Big round of applause for Alex Stepney. So, I'm just going to give you a bit of detail. I don't think everybody knows who I am, although a lot of people say they do. So, uh, my name's Jackie Cosgrave and I'm the licensee of the pub. I've been here for 25 years, 26 years as secretary, um, working alongside my mum Sylvia and my dad Tommy until they died in 1999 and 2010, uh, and along with a great committee of staff who were here. So a bit of background about me, um, my mum Sylvia was a massive Manchester United fan, um, she regaled us with all her stories of going to Wembley as a kid and she loved United. My dad was the opposite, my dad just went wherever there was a free drink on the, on the corporate <laughs> events. <laughs> uh, but my mum was heartbroken about the Munich disaster and we were brought up hearing about it. I'm one of four sisters, I think there's one at the back hiding somewhere, the other two aren't here. Um, but we're all keen United fans and I've been a season ticket for many, many a year. Um, my first ever game was in April 1977 when we played Stoke and we won 3-0. And a certain Alex Stepney oh, was in goal, no, I no. <laughs> You was on me waspy belt, Alex, you was on me waspy belt. <laughs> um, Manchester United's in us, I'm looking to have travelled all over with Johnny Epps. Johnny's somewhere, I don't know where he is, he's there, Johnny's there. Johnny's on the committee with me. Um, and we've been everywhere, Wembley, Moscow, Rome, all around Europe. Um, but one of the games I didn't go to was Bayern Munich where we won in 1999. And the reason for that was that my mum was dying. Um, and my mum had maybe two weeks to live before that day. We watched it at home on telly. Everybody here was in the pub and she was so upset that she couldn't come and she couldn't go and watch the match. And when we won, we carried my mum to the car because she asked us to. So we carried my mum into the car and we drove around here so she could get the atmosphere. And that's what being a Manchester United fan is about. It's in your heart and it doesn't matter how old you are, we're taking it to the grave with us. We love Manchester United. So, how did we get here today? A bit about the pub. So, um, we were at the Pomona. I think a few of you just come at the Pomona. We was up down the road. We were uh, a small pub, a small social club. We actually went into receivership in the 90s um, and they were going to close us down. There was nothing we could do. So, my dad, Johnny, a lot of the other committee men, they put their own money in and they made it going concern so that when the tram come along they had to buy us out there was no option so they had to buy us out and we got this place and we moved here in april um may 1996. again it was difficult it was, we had no money we kept to go remember the day we opened we were like 50 pence if we liked a pound if we didn't so that's how that's how we kept the pub going to start with we've built it up and up and up and we've done really well we've got some great customers 
Um, but then lockdown happened, and as you know, a lot of places shut in lockdown. We were closed for two years on and off completely, with no financial help at all. My, my partner and I, we um, we did everything online. We did bingo. I made him dress up every week and other different characters. We did bingo. We did over the box. We did games. We did everything to keep people going. We did quizzes. Um, and we got better, we opened again and we're back, we're back on our feet. So we said, what can we do next? So the next thing was to open a beer garden. And then Molly spoke to me, for those who don't know, this is Grandma Holland, Molly. Um, Molly spoke to me about having a mural here. And I said, okay, well, why don't we incorporate the two? Let's have the beer garden and let's incorporate the uh, Busby Babes as well into the beer garden. And so we had um, Steve and Dave who are there. Steve and Dave are my beautiful workmen there. They built all this from scratch with a border And then I got a guy called Russell Meehan, who's not here today, who's the artist, who's a brilliant artist, but he's just a typical artist. He might turn up, might not turn up, he might be it, might not be, but he's fantastic. He did all that with spray paint, and it's I think you'll all agree it's an absolutely amazing mural. It's the Manchester United at the Belgrade team. Looking back on the clock, so it's reflected back onto the clock with the flower Manchester on the top. So, fantastic mural. So, well done to Russell, who's not here. Well done to Steve Fitz, who's been working day and night to paint everything to make it ready for today. Uh, but the massive, massive thank you has to be to Steve Melge. Steve here, Steve Melge here. This is all this is thanks to Molly, who was mithered me and I mean mithered the life out of me about this um, and we're here today so I just want to hang out to Molly and let's say a few words. Cheers. We'll be if you will so I'll be on here. Home bargains. <laughs> right, thank you Jackie. You're I would like to start by thanking each and every one of you for taking time out today to attend the unveiling of this beautiful memorial to the Busby Babes. The story, the story started at the Copthorne Hotel Dudley, where members of the Manchester Munich Memorial Foundation, of which I am proudly a founder member, were meeting to view the tributes of the late great Duncan Edwards in a permanent shrine that is located at the hotel. This shrine holds a replicated windows from St Francis's Church, Dudley, dedicated to Duncan Edwards, that were made once again by Stephen Melgi Merry. <laughs> Whilst in conversation with a few members of the committee, I had an idea and asked Stephen could he possibly replicate the plinth that is located at Manchester Platz, Truden in Ream in Munich, and thought it would be a fantastic if we could put it in situ at the Railway Club here in Stretford. He had no hesitation whatsoever and enthusiastically agreed that he could. I then discussed my idea with both the Chairman Pat Burns and Vice Chairman Anthony Crook of the Treble MF and the idea was born. The next step was how would we fund the project. Stephen agreed to just charge for materials only because the rest was a labour of love. It was decided that members of the Treble MF would volunteer individually to donate towards any costs for the project to enable this to go ahead. I then contacted Jackie Cosgrave, who manages this wonderful club, to organise a meeting to defer, further discuss my idea, and she wholeheartedly agreed, and from there the plans were hatched to site the memorial outside the club where it's located now. I would also like to acknowledge the fabulous idea that Jackie had to have a mural of the final lineup of the Busby Babes in Belgrade, looking back at the Munich clock, which she has already explained to you. The explanation of what we do at the Treble MF charity can be found on a plaque on the memorial on the MMF website. Last but not least, to my wife Gail Mulholland, I give my thanks for her input and unwavering support behind the scenes. I must also say this is not an individual project. This has been, been able to be done by various, various people. There's no real individual that takes the credit for this. It would give me great pleasure now to ask Jackie to join me, Paddy and Alex, so that we can cut the ribbon and you can all enjoy this incredible piece of artwork. Thank you all once again for your support. 
God bless the babes. MUFC. Okay. a goalkeeper is better chance of home than that. <laughs> 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 okay. well, what did, what did Paddy okay. say? Don't, don't give a guy from Glasgow a pair of scissors. Okay, there we go. Hey. Hey. Well done. Thank you everybody. Hey. I think it will be become a shrine like the Duncan Edwards statue in Dudley. That is now a major shrine that people want to go to. And this maybe will become, because hundreds, thousands come here before the match from all over the world. And maybe on the day of the uh, Munich crash, thousands go to Old Trafford. And maybe quite a few will come here either before or after and incorporate both sites. I'm really pleased it's turned out. Um but it's from the heart, that makes it better for me, you know. Uh, I was born not far from Dudley and just brought up United fans since I was a kid. Georgie Best, my hero. I go home and away, Europe, um, everywhere, and it's my life. So. You must be very proud because a fantastic turnout today. So many fans, but also oh, we had Alex Stepney and Pat Yeah, yeah, really pleased. Yeah, it makes it worthwhile, you know. Even if one person turned up and liked it, it'd be, you know, it makes it worthwhile, doesn't it? We've also got a very significant occasion at the end of the season when we've got the unveiling of the Jimmy Murphy statue, which you've played a major role in. Yes, that's another one to, to look forward to. That's another one I can't wait. And, you know, it's took so many years and took so many people to make it happen. And it's going to be an amazing day. God knows how many people will turn out for that one. Yes. And it truly, truly, truly deserved our Jimmy. <laughs>